Good morning everyone. Welcome to another crazy day at Farmtown and we've got rain moving in this afternoon so I've got a spot of a field that I want to get some dirt on and some seed down with some clover before that rain moves in. And if you want to stick around I'd love to have you. If you haven't taken the opportunity yet we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. And you know one thing people they don't realize how destructive cows are. They, they're, they're not purposely destructive they're just a big animal and they don't really know their own strength and so they they like to rub and push on everything and so you know things like this get broken off i have to go fix my outlet right there you can see that that's ripped off the wall i gotta fix my light that got yanked so down you say well how do they rip the light down well they grab the cord which was stapled well it wasn't a cord it was the uv electrical wire or uf i should say um stapled to the the trim of the barn and then they somehow grabbed a hold of it and thought it was a, a twizzler yanked it down and so i gotta fix that i gotta do something with this they there uh you know they're always pushing on fences so just something to think about before you get cows is remember they they're heavy and they push on everything and most of the time, the stuff they push on will break. Come on, fellas. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Well, at least you're the good one. Huh? Come on, dummies. Stop crowding, single file, form a line, let's go, come on, Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Get. Get. These are Baldwin apples. Looks like a good crop of them this year. They do really well every other year, which is typical of apples. A lot of times the orchards will spray them and that way you get a decent crop every year instead of a bumper crop every other year. This one's funny. It's like he's always got a bad hair day with this little Bert and Ernie hairdo. Now it's time to drain out the green slime water. I got this crappy job. Clean this out because uh, they messed in it. Used it for a toilet. Obviously it's dried in there, so it's extra good. Usually stand on this hose and pull it out. I have a float on the other one. I have an extra float to put on this one, I think. I just been too lazy to put it on and I got to get the forks on the manure forks that is take the pallet forks off clean out this cucka pile it's a crappy job pretty much normal trees all over the fence let's see if I can electrocute myself because uh, f21 it's on a 200 I'm gonna take this off, we gotta take the knife out, take the pitman off, and then we're gonna store this under cover. When 
you're done with your sickle mower for the season, take the knife out and in between uses, when you've got it in, just boil the snot out of it before you put it away. Otherwise what will happen is it'll get stuck. You'll get surface rust in between the ledger plates, pull downs, the fingers, etc., and the knife, and then it'll be stuck and it won't be fun getting it out. So just a rule of, of thumb, when you're not using your mower, take the knife out, store it, and then you'll be all set for next time. Well, looks like it's time for you guys to go to freezer camp. So one of the next items on the agenda is to rip out my milking stanchions in here. Uh, since I sold the milk cow, there's no point in keeping this. And with the cement floor, it's best to use this area for the calves to come in. It'll make it a lot easier to clean out since the manure pile's right there. Um, so we'll pull all these two by fours out, pull the stanchion out, leave the watering cup. I'll probably leave those headers over there um, and then pull out the cement on the bottom. And then that'll give us a decent area to let the calves come in here and they come in and out and uh, be easy to clean. Hello, kitty. I want to get this brush hog off, but I got company there right at the moment and it's hard to get through by myself. So I'll just go around the other way and get the dirt and then do a couple things. And maybe when I'm done with that, they'll be out of here. And so I put the, the brush hog on because I had got it back. I had blown the um, gearbox out of it and the, the, uh, the manufacturer warrantied it under um, the manufacturer's defect. It's, it, uh, it was wicked loud when I bought it and then it just kept leaking all the, the gear oil out of the, out of the front of it. And so finally it, it leaked all the oil at the bottom and and all the parts the guts fell out of the gearbox anyway so um, they warranted all that for me so that was that was great of Kevin to do that so they're still behind that product and it's run really quiet uh, I don't usually brush hog with this tractor but the other one's got the sickle on it so anyway that's that's the reason for that but it's got such a tail swing on it that it kind of defeats the purpose of having this little tractor up here in the dooryard one of the upcoming videos I'm going to do here in the next few days is going to be soil samples and manure samples and the whole process with NRCS, which is Natural Resources uh, Conservation Service. And it's, we just call it the Soil Conservation Service uh, typically, but or NRCS for short. Um, what I'm going to do is this area right here, I want to put in a small high tunnel and then I want to abandon the back part of the garden down there where it's always shady and so I'm going to move this fence back there and have a cattle lane from the front to the back and then this part right here I can still electrify it to bring the animals in here to graze this because it's it's uh it's good grass and I don't want to mow it there's rocks and stuff and so the animals do a fine job of taking care of it but um, the high tunnel will go right here and so we'll have to take soil samples from uh, like six different places that I've got. And so we, we have enough manure and the it's a comprehensive soil nutrient analysis we're gonna do. We'll check the manure out and the manure storage. I've got drainage issues 
obviously because the whole place was built into a banking and so the water comes off the back of the barn the back of the house and it kind of sits or goes through both buildings so we're going to put drainage in on the other side and get that water going somewhere else and that uh, you've seen where i feed the animals out back it doesn't matter how often i clean it out it's always um a mess mud and, and muck and manure and so what we want to do is we want to alleviate that and so we'll stop the runoff of of the manure and everything else and so we can conserve that and put it in a proper storage facility and so that's that's coming up and so we'll talk about some of the fields today we're just gonna uh you know the things i've already talked about and i just realized we got to get the mite treatment out of the beehives so, so those of you who know about bees you're gonna think i'm an idiot and that's because i am i don't know anything about bees but they're really being productive being and so the the honeycombs and the, and the wax and the honey are all through the, the the frames and my wife can't lift the frames apart so i'm gonna go out and help her get take those out and so i don't know any of the technology i don't know the terms i don't know anything about bees um just going and doing what she tells me to do because as any good husband does you just do what your wife says and you'll both be happy anyway um back to back to work chance that's pure manure get out of there Hi. The babies have integrated with the big boys today. Haven't you? Huh? You guys have all integrated. We're all friends now. So more rain, everything is soupy, muck, and just another day in the neighborhood. Appreciate everybody watching. Hopefully it's been mildly entertaining for you, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.